wading through floodwaters Wednesday, Ukrainians are leaving their inundated homes in places like Kherson after the collapse of a critical dam on the front line of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Both sides are blaming each other for the destructive breach. We need to evacuate Granny, this woman says, explaining her elderly relative is trapped on the first floor of her building. According to Ukraine, the flood is threatening to leave hundreds of thousands of people without access to drinking water, swamp tens of thousands of hectares of agricultural land, and turn more into deserts. The disaster at the Russian-controlled Nova Kakovka Dam coincides with a long-awaited counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces. That's seen as the next major phase of the war. But that military operation hasn't started yet, says the secretary of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council. And he adds, once that mission to win back territory occupied by Russia is launched, everyone will know about it. Moscow and Kyiv not only blaming each other for Tuesday's sudden breach of the hydroelectric dam, they're also trading accusations over continued shelling in the flood zone. There are also warnings of drifting landmines unearthed by the flooding. A day after the disaster, Zaporizhia Emergency Services held nuclear disaster response drills. The emptying reservoir that was held back by the Kafkovka Dam supplied water that cools the nuclear power plant at Zaporizhia upstream. This regional governor confirms the radiological situation around the nuclear power plant remains stable. On Tuesday, the U.N. nuclear watchdog said the plant should have enough water to cool its reactors for some months from a separate pond. Melissa Duggan, City News.